Tom, enthusiastic gardener, and goodness, it has been so hot today. I've waited till the end of the day to do this because it's just been too hot, I couldn't even come out. And I wanted to show you a couple of things. First of all, I'd like to give you an update on the roses. You may remember back towards the end of June, I drastically pruned the roses and I want to show you how beautiful they look now. And the second thing is, I'm going to plant this. This is a beautiful Hibiscus Syriacus and it's otherwise known as Rose of Sharon. It's different to the tropical hibiscus which have the big dinner plate flowers and they're not necessarily quite as hardy but this one is very very hardy and it will grow very very big as well. It has beautiful flowers. It's one of the late flowering plants for the summer, the end of the summer. So when everything's looking a bit tired and a little worn out, finished flowering, this will come into play and it will flower from about now really, August, you can see the, the tiny buds are forming here. So it's August now and then it can flower for a good couple of months. So it's a really, really great addition to the garden. So it's very hardy. It can withstand drought as well. Once it's established, you have to always water them in a little bit when you first plant them, give them a bit of love and care. All you do is you plant it in the ground. I will add some compost. Don't bury it deeper than it's buried now. Make sure you don't do that. It's also self-cleaning, which means you don't have to go around deadheading because the plant will drop its flowers and that's it. You don't need to do anything else for it to continue to bloom. So that is a plus. It is deciduous, so that means it loses its leaves in the winter. It grows on new wood. You can prune it late winter, February time, you can prune it back. They will grow very big. These can grow, well the normal size is around about four foot tall, but they can grow into huge, enormous 12 foot bushes. But I am going to keep this one under control. Another thing you can do is you can grow them into become standard trees. So I could well try that. It has been in the pot for a very long time, unfortunately. I don't think it is going to look at its utmost best spectacular self this year, but it's going to look beautiful. It's going to be something for some lovely late summer interest. It likes full sun, so it could do with at least six hours of sun a day. This border, which I'm going to put it in, will get at least six hours because this border faces east, so it will get the sun first thing in the morning and then over there it goes round there, that's the south. So I think it will be fine, it will be very happy here. I think that's all I need to say about this. Its uh, common name is the Rose of Sharon. They come in all different varieties, they're all beautiful, particularly like the blue ones. So it would be nice to find a blue one actually. But this one is very, very pretty too. So I'm going to pop that over there in the border quickly. update on the roses which I said we pruned those at the end of June pruned them very very hard you can see here how we went down to five leaves and sometimes five leaves was very low down on the shrub but we did it to five leaves we made sure that those five leaves weren't facing in towards the plant because we need to keep the plant open airy and then that reduces any chance of pests and disease. Well, I want to show you what they look like now and they are stunning. And also, I've had quite a few comments, which is lovely, for people saying for the first time ever, 
their flowers on their roses have bloomed for the second time in one year. So I'm so pleased to know that I have told you the right thing because it does look drastic. Let's have a look at the roses. Well, here they are and they look just beautiful. Absolutely stunning and I have lots of buds all over. And then all you do, you see this one here, you can see it's gone paler in colour because it's faded a little bit. So all you do is just, yeah, see, it's all coming off. In fact, I think that it is better than it was at the beginning of the year. I really do believe that. So it's so worth doing. So I will link the video of my deadheading or summer pruning the roses at the end of this video so if you didn't do it it's well worth trying it now so give it a go who knows what do you have to lose i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining me and i will see you again very very soon thanks for watching bye